Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss how you can prepare for the final exam of the NPTEL course Introduction to Programming in C. And in this video, we will be discussing some important points like certification criteria. So you can check if you are eligible for the certificate or not. After that, we will cover what could be the exam pattern and what type of questions could be there in the exam. And after that, we will discuss how you can prepare for this exam well and what could be your strategies to maximize your score in this exam. And after that, we will discuss some exam day guidelines which you should remember on the day of exam. So without wasting further time, let's get started. So first of all, let's discuss the certification criteria. So many NPTEL exam aspirants keep asking this type of question like I have submitted only these many assignments. Am I eligible for the NPTEL certificate or not? So I hope this section will clarify all your doubts regarding your eligibility for the NPTEL certificate. So basically there are two conditions which you have to satisfy if you want to get a certificate of an NPTEL course. Okay, so one of the conditions is that you have to score at least 40% or above in this upcoming NPTEL exam which is to be conducted in the month of March. Okay, and this is the so-called proctored exam which you have to take in person at one of the NPTEL designated exam centers. So you have to score a minimum 40% marks in this upcoming exam. Okay, how you can do that? How can you prepare for that? We will discuss that a little later in this video. All right. Now, another condition which you have to fulfill is that your average assignment score should be at least 40% or above. So to understand this condition, you have to actually understand how NPTEL calculates average assignment scores. And because this is an eight weeks course, only your best six assignments are considered for average assignment score. The remaining two assignments are just ignored. All right. So how can you calculate your average assignment score? Just go to the progress tab and then into the assignments score section and select any six weeks in which you have scored your best. Okay. Six weeks in which your assignment marks has been the best maximum. Okay. And just leave the remaining two weeks. Ignore as if they don't exist. Now calculate your average score in those six weeks which you have selected. Your average score should be 40% or above in those six weeks. All right. Okay. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you have to satisfy both of these conditions. Okay. If you fail to satisfy any of these conditions, you won't get any certificate. Okay. So make this thing very clear. Okay. For example, even if you score 100% in the assignments part, but you are not able to score a 40% in the final exam, you will not get a certificate. Or vice versa, if you are able to score 100% in the final exam, but haven't scored a minimum 40% in the assignments part, you will not get a certificate either. So make sure you satisfy both of these conditions. Still, if you are not able to calculate your average assignment score, what you can do is, there is a link in the description for the telegram group of this course. You can send a screenshot of your progress tab in that group and I will reply to you with your correct average assignment score. By the way, if you are following videos on my YouTube channel, then average assignment score should not be an issue for you at all because you will get full marks in all the assignments. So your average assignment score would be a hundred percent. So you should care about the proctored exam only. All right. Okay. Now let's move on to the exam pattern section. Okay. So it would be an online computer based exam and it would be very much similar to the JE mains exam. The way in which this NPTEL exam is conducted is almost the same as the JE mains exam. And I hope probably most of you have been through this JE mains exam. It is a very famous engineering entrance exam. So even if you are appearing for the first time in an NPTEL exam, still you will find it very familiar because you have been through an online exam already. So next point is the type of the question. And this is the most frequently asked question 
that what type of questions would be there in the exam so let me make this very clear the questions would be objective so there will be mcqs multiple choice questions in which only one of the options is correct and you have to select that correct option only or there could be msqs multiple select questions in which more than one options could be correct and you have to select all the correct options and there will be fill in the blanks type questions also in which you have to enter the answer in the space provided and different type of questions could be framed like they would provide a code snippet to you and you are supposed to find the errors in it or a code snippet would be provided and you have to find the output of that program or you have to enter the integer answer which is the output of a code or you have to select the missing code from one of the options so a variety of questions could be framed in these categories okay and again let's make this very clear you don't need to do any kind of programming there okay programming questions won't be there so you don't need to do any kind of programming like you did in the assignments and you don't need to compile and run the program and get the test cases passed so you don't need to do that kind of thing there only objective questions would be asked but you will be provided some code snippets okay a part of code would be provided to you and you are supposed to find the output of that code or the errors in the code and so on okay but you don't need to do the entire programming there like you did in the assignments and here is the official response from the nptl course team that the questions would be objective in nature and why am i putting so much stress on this point is because the way in which weekly assignments are provided in this course is little different from other computer science courses available on nptl because in those courses quiz assignments and programming assignments both are provided but in this particular course only programming assignments are provided so the learner gets confused if any programming needs to be done there in the exam and the test cases need to be passed okay and another important point to remember is that there won't be any negative marking so make sure you attempt each and every question don't leave any question unattempted all right okay now let's discuss some more info about the paper so the paper would be divided into three sections section 1 section 2 and section 3 and you can see the distribution of the questions in the different sections the total duration of the exam would be 3 hours and the total marks would be 100 and it is this 100 marks out of which you have to score at least 40% to get a certificate and actually this was the exam pattern of the exam conducted in march 2022 okay but you can expect similar exam pattern in your upcoming exam also of course a little bit of variation is possible in this exam pattern but there won't be much big of a change maybe a, a couple of questions could be added or removed in these sections or something like that but there won't be any drastic change in this exam pattern so you can safely assume that this is going to be the exam pattern for your upcoming exam okay now let's see how you can prepare for this exam so basically this is a c programming exam and if you are familiar with c programming concepts you can easily clear the exam okay and you don't need to learn everything about c programming you only need to learn the topics discussed in this course and for that you can either watch the entire course videos or revise through the lecture slides and if you are running short of time i would recommend that you revise the course through the lecture slides and i will leave the link in the description for the lecture slides revising through the lecture slides will help you cover the entire course in a very short span of time okay so this should be your first and foremost step for the preparation of this exam okay revise the lecture slides another step you could take for the preparation is that if you have revised all the lecture slides 
and if time permits you can watch some youtube videos based on the topics discussed in this course or you can read the topics discussed in this course in some reference books or some other sources this will deepen your understanding of the concepts discussed in this course and it will help you solve even some difficult questions which could be there in the exam another thing which you could try is that i will be uploading a playlist of videos called nptel exam preparation series in which i will discuss the important topics for this course and some important questions so you can watch those videos and for sample questions i will provide a link in the description from where you can check them out and link of the nptel exam preparation playlist will also be in the description all right and there are few things which you need to remember on the day of exam like don't forget to take your admit card and your aadhar card with you at the exam center and you don't need to carry any rough paper for the rough work it would be provided there but pen for rough work won't be provided you have to carry your own and you won't be provided any kind of c compiler or something there so don't expect that but you will be provided an on screen calculator okay i will leave a link in the description so you can check that out and please make sure you read all the guidelines mentioned in your admit card carefully and follow them okay that's all i have for you today in this video thanks for watching and best of luck from my side for the exam please hit the like button if this video helped you and don't forget to share this video with your friends and i will see you in the next video